Hey, what's up, you guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It is Rewards Day, and that's right. We're actually uploading our rewards on Rewards Day for you today, so uh, hopefully the hype is really there. If it is, and if you do enjoy today's episode, hit me with a thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go for 3,000 likes on this episode, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new, uh, click in the notification bell so you become part of that squad and never miss an upload. Um, so you can probably hear that I haven't been up long, so I've got tired voice, morning voice. So uh, apologies for that. It means that I'm at a, like a decibel or two lower or whatever the measurement of that type of like level of sound is. But anyway, <laughs> either, even though all of that is going on, uh, we have some jobs to do today. We have to pack some good players. So... Um, when it comes to rivals, I definitely have finished in rank 3 this week. Division 3 rank 3. So rather than rank 2 with the rare mega packs and the 15k packs, we're going to go for um, this. I'm just going to choose untradeable because I think it's two 25k packs, two 50k packs. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the rare megas in our... Uh, weekendly rewards so uh yeah so we're just changing up the rewards this week and of course we've got better red picks than before um because we have four players gonna pop up instead of uh, instead of uh, three so yeah we're gonna go straight on into the red foot champs picks obviously there is a ronaldo obviously there is a harry kane obviously there is an eden hazard um i would love any of them i don't think i would even use harry kane because i don't think he's meta but we do get ourselves two red player picks, a rare gold pack, two rare megas, and 45,000 coins. That's pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's going to boost the budget quite a lot. Once, just once, give me the Ronaldo. That's what I'd love. Uh, Ronaldo or Hazard, both would make me make adjustments to my team. I think Ronaldo's a striker, um, I guess. If he's a left winger or, or if we got Hazard, who is a left winger, we'd probably have to sell Neymar and adjust the team accordingly. But ooh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That would be a good problem to have, right? So uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that thumbs up button. And we're going to go for our first red player pick in three, two, one, boom. Cristiano Ronaldo is not in this in this pack. Ugh. What on earth is that? Uh, okay, so we're not going to go for this guy. Obviously, we're not going to go for Pookie. Skov or Lena? Uh, I, I'm trying to think of who I have. I've got like Serge Gnabry as an untradeable Bundesliga player in the right mid spot. So I don't necessarily need Skov. I don't think I've got a Bundesliga right back. And he actually does look quite good. Uh, what is the rating difference? So they're both 81. I think I'll probably choose this Lena guy just because it's a Bundesliga first owner uh, right back. Yeah, I I'm going to go for him over Skov because I don't need Skov. Um, so let's take Lena, And that is a terrible bunch of four picks. You know, we went we went further. We went to goal two. We were hoping these picks were going to be more worthwhile. So this is where we're going to get Cristiano Ronaldo coming up right now. We get an 86, but uh, <laughs> what are these picks? They are pretty tragic, I'm not going to lie, um, but we do get an 86 rated Gerard Moreno. To be honest, I don't even think he looks that good, uh, so it, there is absolutely no doubt about it that I, would, uh, I wouldn't even be that bothered to stick this guy into an 86 plus red SBC. Obviously, we're going to take him just because, it, you know, it's the 86. Uh, and he might even be useful for a uh, uh, an SBC. Just like, an, an not a red player pick SBC, but just like as an 86 rated player. It's going to save me 10,000 coins probably, or 12,000 coins. Uh, so yeah, those are our red picks. That's pretty tragic, not going to lie. But we'll take 186, I guess. Uh, I'm actually more buzzing about Lena because I think he actually looks more usable. And we can use him uh, as a Bundesliga right back should we ever need one. But that's not the best part, you know. Because we've got, we've got like seven packs to open here. Um, and that is less than last week. It's less than normal, right? Do I normally have a few more? I can't remember. Uh, I think seven is like a normal amount. So we've got... Three rare gold packs. That's 25k packs. We should get some squad fitnesses. Hopefully a board or something. One 50k pack. And, oh, no, sorry. Two 50k packs. Oh, yeah, because they're both untradeable. And then two rare megas. One of which is... Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, no, they're both 
they're both tradable, aren't they? So this is yeah. So so basically, one of these rare gold packs is tradable. Two of which are untradable, uh, and then with the two untradable 50ks, two tradable rare megas. So we're literally going to go in order because that is the coin value of it, and we'll end with tradable stuff. I could do with making a little bit of money. Um, so yeah, let's go for it. Our rewards over the last few weeks have been pretty tragic. So if we were to get something good here. It would be brilliant, so let's go. Rare gold pack, numero uno. I don't know ever what to really ever expect. These are the same as what you guys get in weekly, like, pre-order packs, right? It's actually going to be boards in the first pack, which is almost better than last week already. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, I've forgotten his name, Hamshik? Yeah. Uh, 84 rated Hamshik as a probably an untradable player. Um, it's another 84. They, they sell for, like... Two or three thousand coins or something. Demo Bay is an all right one as a re relatively high rated and sort of good league option um, for an SBC. And then, yeah, we do get ourselves one squad fitness. I want more than that in the upcoming ones, though. I'm, I'm running low on squad fitnesses and we have the weekend league coming up. So, rare gold pack number two. <sighs> okay, right. First walkout. I want two walkouts out of all of this lot. It's going to be slow moving again. That's a team of the week. But it's not going to be uh, an amazing one. That's going to be the left back, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and and Saldi, I think I think the name of the guy is... No. Where's Ansaldi? Is like German or something, I swear. What am I even thinking of? Um, ben Sabaini. Uh, yeah, 71 pace. Can't see myself ever using him. Uh, but who knows? Do people... Ooh. A little 85 rated Neto. That's not bad. I mean, we've already got Oblak on tradable, uh, and we used her Stegen, but you know what? It's an 85. Uh, so he's untradable, so I could just use him as one of the informs in an SBC, I guess. Uh, rare gold pack, number three. So they've both been bored players. Uh, let's get a third, like three out of three for them. That'd be good. And we actually are going to get that. We're going to get boards again. Lovely. What's this one going to be? French. Striker, West Ham, Haller. Oh, I got him last week, and I'm pretty sure he was untradable last week. So that is probably going to be a duplicate untradable. Ugh, that's annoying. Is it, though? Or did I get him tradable? I can't remember. Oh, he's not a duplicate. Brilliant. Uh, okay, well, that's that's good. He's tradable, but uh, I can't imagine he ever sells. Uh, right wing to right forward. I don't need that. One player pack. Uh, and trainers aren't very useful this year. So, let us discard, and let's move on to our one-player pack. Or oh, it's a two-players pack, but one of the... Why is it called a one-player pack when it's actually a two-player pack? I don't know. Uh, wait, is that boards again? What is going on today? We're getting some luck. Spanish. Goalkeeper, Casillas. Yes, we get an 83-rated Casillas, who I don't think I do own. I don't think I own him. I've used him. I've, I've, I've packed him a few times, but I've used him quite a lot. Yeah. So we get a tradable Casillas. And now we're on to the good stuff. So we've got four packs left, two 50k packs, two rare megas. I still want to get two walkouts. Luckily, every pack so far has been boards, which I'm very happy about. But let's continue that and let's up it a little bit. Let's get the walkouts. Let's get the walkouts from this week's team of the week. Let's get an icon, maybe. That would be great. Something in... I mean, that is another team of the week. And it is not going to be... Uh, it's Ossiman, isn't it? Uh, it's not going to be tradable, right? So this is an untradable Ossiman. So that's another inform, which we could, I guess, use towards... Uh, like the Paulinho SBC, I think you need informs for that. Um, but we get Iago Aspas as well, which is nice, and a blue Herrera. You never know when that's going to come in handy. That's a decent first La La Liga centre mid, by the way. But I can use Iago Aspas in an SBC for sure. All right, so that's a good 50k pack, in my opinion. That's better than we've had lately. Uh, let's go for another one. Let's just keep this streak of getting at least boards going. Um, but I do need my very first walkout in this pack right here. Come on. Come on. No, it's boards again. We are going to get French. Left mid. That is Thomas Lemar. 83. We definitely packed this guy over the last two weeks. And I can't remember if he's traded or if I've used him. Uh, all right. Well, he's not. He's un, they're both untradeable. Blues again. Uh, and I, they're not duplicates, which is all right. Um... Oops, uh, what do we get? A duplicate denier. Now, I'm pretty sure I have an untradable version of him. No, he's tradable. Good. All right, we'll move that stuff to the club. And now it's on to the two rare megas. So, I still do need my two walkouts. So, they've got to come from these packs right here. Um, 
A little bit of extra luck might be needed, so smash that thumbs up. Let's go. Rare Mega. Numero uno out of dos. All right. Boards or walkout, please. Walkout, please. Yes. Proper walkout. Who's it going to be? French. Be Mbappe. Just be Mbappe. Oh, that is Loris. I thought for a minute he was still at RTTF card, but that promo ended a few days ago. We'll get an 88 rated Loris, who probably sells for under 20,000 coins. Um, but hey, it's another 20,000 coins. I don't necessarily need a Premier League goalkeeper. Uh, so, and there could also be anything else in this pack. You might a little cheeky 85 in the pack as well. That'd be lovely. No, there isn't. But um, yeah, we'll definitely take Loris. How much does he go for? Just under 20k probably. Uh, I think I saw a 20k bin not go in there. So I'm actually going to sell him because I don't need him uh, at the moment. And then other than that, we'll take some new players. We don't need this. How many squad fitnesses? Just three. Okay, we're probably going to need to go and buy some of them for the weekend league. Um, we can get rid of the rest. All right, so final pack. This needs to also be a walkout to keep up my, uh, one, keep up the streak of the video. And two, keep up what my expectations are for a half-decent set of rewards so come on the controller's down don't just ruin me with a rubbish pack be a walkout be a walkout ah it's boards okay well uh i th i think with every single pack being at least boards that's uh H henderson right with every single pack being at least boards uh, i i've got to say that that's not the worst rewards i've ever had it's not the best but uh we'll definitely we'll definitely take that who else is in the packet then anyone good uh florenzi sometimes sell for a little bit right yeah, he's, he's, you know, 2,000 coins. We'll take that. Uh, and I don't need all these contracts. I've got lots now. Only two squad fitnesses. Are you mental? All uh, right. We don't need this. That's a nice kit. Don't need the Burnley kit. Uh, you probably do sell. So do you. So do you. You won't. Do, do, do. Right. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll take 1,500 coins from that lot. So, uh, so yeah, we're up to 111k. Um and we've got at least 25k on the transfer list to sell uh, and of course in tomorrow's episode uh, it will be time to probably get rid of this guy because a certain icon will be joining the club uh, once we can get through that final part uh, uh, you know put it all together and get our 11th token and all of that good stuff so with that in mind the weekend league coming up Someone quickly asked for my custom tactics again. Uh, so I've been using this, which is 442. I think I think something needs to change because this just doesn't feel quite right at the moment. Uh, like it doesn't feel like I'm in the right places with people. I think I w actually want to try the 423 one this weekend. So I might go with these these custom tactics. I might have to drop that debt for a little bit because this is just for when I'm like losing. So if we were to play on four depth. And then uh, width for defense. Yeah, that could be four as well. Fast build up, but like narrow width for the attack, which means that my two wide or the two cams would just join in a little bit. Uh, lots of players in the box, lots of corners, free kicks, yeah, whatever. And I think that's how we would play it. Uh, and instructions, get in behind, stay forward. Uh, stay forward, get into the box, free roam on the central cam. <clears throat> but I think it might even have to be uh, like this. I think we would probably have to play Garincha out wide and utilize Griezmann because he's got less pace, and he, in that central cam. Uh, and then at half time, we could bring someone else on. Uh, yeah, we've got Bale on the bench and stuff, haven't we? So we'll see what happens. But um, at the moment, I'm thinking of using something like this. It basically would be telling uh, Pep to drop between defenders, Alan to stay back, and then just the fullbacks to just stay back, basically. I don't want them to go too f to push forward or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, that could be what we use this weekend league, obviously, with a couple of changes. That's We've got, like, a, a day or so to go before the weekend league starts, so probably a couple of episodes before I get stuck in to my gameplay uh, of that. <clears throat> I'm not sure, like I was using regular Militao a little while ago and he's really still quality, uh, like almost to the fact that I don't know whether he's better than PK. So I might even just use like this blue Militao that I've got uh, in, in the weekend league over PK and have Lengle and Militao again because that just seems to work the meta really well. Um, PK's PK, I do really like him, but yeah, I, maybe I am starting to notice that the, the little bit of sluggishness and stuff might be affecting, might be one of the reasons why my results have been a little bit worse lately. But anyway, yeah, guys, 
That has been my rewards. Red player picks haven't been great. Uh, otherwise, the packs were actually all right. Not brilliant, though, obviously. Um, no, like, significant players that are joining the club. But uh, it is what it is. We had at least boards in every single pack, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah, do me a massive favour. Hit that thumbs up button if you do enjoy. Uh, and, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and you can let me know there, you know, by sending me pictures of who you got in your reds and stuff, uh, who you got in your weekend league results, um, or rewards, should I say. Most importantly, have a wonderful day and we'll catch up tomorrow with another episode. Peace. Peace.